So it's the 7th of December, it's about 12.15 uh, just after lunchtime and it's rather a cloudy day and what I've done was I brought this I've got this RAV power 21 watt solar panel and I just brought it down because it's a cloudy day to see if it would uh, charge a phone in this sort of a conditions the idea behind the solar panel anyway is this uh, late spring, early summer I'm going to do a trip from uh, I'm going to get the train to Wick and then cycle up to John O'Groats and then cycle back down the road uh, the whole trip's about 350 miles and I'm planning to do it over a 7 day period but 50 miles a day, just a leisurely 7 day holiday uh, so the solar panel is for charging my power pack uh, so that I can keep uh, my videos coming keep my Garmin charged, keep my phone charged using my my battery pack so I'll strap the solar panel to the back of the bike on top of the bags and just ride for five or six hours hopefully the weather will be a bit sunny and I'll have my power pack plugged into the solar panel and then at night I'll use the power pack to charge my batteries back up and just repeat that day in day out I have got a bat uh, some battery backup because I've got about 14 batteries and my power pack takes four so that's three fours and an extra two I reckon that would still be enough to get me keep me keep me videoing and keep my stuff charged and if it wasn't I could always book a night in a campsite and recharge my stuff but anyway that's the plan for this summer or late spring early summer So the idea is to see if the solar panel would charge up in a cloudy day charge your phone and let's have a look, see you can see it is really cloudy I was waiting for the sun to break through however I don't think it's gone so it's a cloudy day in the summer well it's if it was in the summer this would be a cloudy cloudy day in the summer uh, is it charging? we've got a red light but yeah it is charging, it was at 78% it's at 79% now, oh, it's back to 78 uh, we'll just check it in a minute or two and see if uh, the red lights went out, it's been back on 78% still so we'll get a wee minute or two and check it again but if it charges in this, these conditions, it's a good solar panel. It's a RAV 21 watt. Uh, it's about 35 pounds. You can get it just now. Uh, the wee red light goes on and off. What does it say now? 77%. So it's discharging. Uh, it's discharging so I suspect there's not enough power off the sun to it's only powering up the, the circuitry of the solar panel which then in turn the solar panels draining the battery 78% again so I reckon If the sun, if it, if it was a summer and it was a cloudy day, I think the, the sun would be a lot stronger coming through the clouds, and you'd get wee breaks in the clouds now and again. And I reckon you would be, you'd get some sort of a charge in a cloudy day. 
I don't expect it to be enough to charge up your battery bank but 79 so it has went up a percent so yeah I expect I would charge your phone but very slowly and if the sun keeps going away or it's not strong enough, it's not light enough it'll start to drain your battery yeah. Let's see if we can get a, a reading. Yeah, it's on again. 80%. So that's charging. And this is the crappiest day you could pro probably ask for. A December day. So, aye. If it's charging today, I'm quite happy with that. I didn't expect it to charge at all. So, great. Okay, it's still very cloudy. It's a bit brighter than it was, but the sun's not coming through the clouds. And I've got my power bank connected up. So it's charging the power bank. Uh, don't know how much, but what I was thinking is, in the manual, it says these ports, these ports, they give out like 12 watts each, uh, and 2.4 amps maximum. So that being top conditions, uh, if you use it both of the ports I'll give out four four amps four point something amps and 21 watts in great conditions but I was thinking if you piggy bank these these two get two males to a female and plug your battery bank into both of them you would optimize your power in a cloudy day well that's my thinking, uh, so you get the, everything the solar panel could generate in a cloudy day to charge your power bank, but I don't think I would do that in a, a sunny day, I would just use the one in a sunny day, it's still charging up. So it might be a chicken dinner right enough. So, that's what it's going to get used for, charging the battery bank, and then I'll use the battery bank for charging my equipment at night. So, I think in a decent day, that would be a good wee charger, charging system. So, this is the, the manual for the solar panel. And it says output IS smart output 5 volts 2.4 amps each 12 watts max as well each of the ports I've put out 5 volts 2.4 amps at 12 watts max that's in perfect condition total output is 5 volts 4.2 amps 20 watt 21 watt max now, that's both of them combined, that's in perfect conditions. Now, if I make up two males to a female, I'll be looking to get the 5 volts, 4.2 amps, 20 watt, watt max, 21 watt max, and... But on a cloudy day, that might be better, if you can pull out any amps uh, more than 2.4 but I doubt you'll be able to pull out more than 2.4 in a cloudy day and anyway I don't think the power pack would accept more than 2 amps so I'm going to test that today it'll be cloudy and 
I won't be able to test the uh, the power that's coming out. I'm just going to test the plugs in it to see it, if it can charge up uh, any quicker than my previous attempts. Uh, so that's the plan. So this is a cable I've rigged up uh, two males to a female and the cable to go into the charger is just on this end so it's basically just it was two old USB plugs I found in my toolbox they were a bit rusty but they work ok they gave it 5 volts each and I've just soldered them up and taped them to the female so they two will get plugged into the solar panel and the power pack will plugged into the female end and we'll see if that does any better ok we've got the two leads into the power pack and I ran the power pack down a wee bit so we could see if it charged it up so it's, well that's okay, is it? See if we can go by 75%. So we want it to go 75, stay on the 75 and then start flashing on 100 and 75. So, Have a wee look back on that now you will. See so the whole idea of this experiment, if you want to call it that, is we know it'll charge in a sunny day. But we want to know if it's gonna how good it charges in a cloudy day, because in Scotland cloudy days are regular. If it's no raining, it's cloudy. Uh, Sunny, clear sunny days are, you would say, a lot rarer. So, we're, it's more it's more important that this charges in kind of poor conditions and gives out some sort of a charge that could maybe charge your power pack up. So, I'll get a few minutes and then we'll have a look at it again. So I've been here about 20 minutes now, waiting for this. It's like watching paint drying. It'd be better if you could sit in the house and have a cup of tea, watch the telly and go out and check it. But we're in the woods, so we can't leave it. See the way that kind of it goes up, it, it sort of stops for a second and it goes down to 50 goes away, it comes back up 75 and then 100. That's sort of a speeded up. See here, it does it now. That's speeded up uh, over the last 20 minutes. So I suggest, or I think, the quicker it gets doing that the quicker it's getting nearer he's staying on the 75 and then it'll flash between just a hundred will flash that's what we're looking for before we go so we'll check back in another wee while once it does it which hopefully won't be long And to be honest with you, if you get a charge at all in this sort of weather, this is like, it's about 5 degrees at most, give or take a degree either way. And you don't get a greater day than that anywhere in the UK. And you've got to remember, if up north, even in the summer the days look like this, because you've got 
you're you're lit right in the coast for a couple of days travelling and the weather fronts that come in after the coast, after the sea you can get four seasons in the one day up there and I'm and I've seen it I've been in it so that's how it's quite important to see if this can charge in a day like this uh, and if it does it'll be fantastic okay well that's about what half an hour I'd say but half an hour and it's it's only flashing in the hundred now so I'd say that The way you see the way it, it goes back down and it all goes back down and back up. May I see it again? See the way it does this? Well, the quicker it does that, the near it's going to be to fully charged, the, the hundred will stay on. But I'm happy with that because that's put in a a fair old bit of charge on that because I charged up my camera battery my Garmin and the wee phone that I take camping with me uh, out of this power pack last night and a day like this it's charged up so I'd say that's almost full I'd say in a 15 minutes that would be full maybe less and my camera battery gone so and these camera batteries don't last very long so happy with that that's a good that's a good situation these things charged well I don't know if it was my double plugs that helped it in this weather but it certainly worked well. Au revoir.